just a quick overview of this Wizard Works saddlebag, which is in this rust, um, olive rust colour. So these are made in the UK. They stitch them together here, uh, design and stitch them together. And I believe it's a London based location for their manufacturing sewing plant factory workshop. And um, I bought it to go on the back of like my sort of cruiser touring bike. It's not it's not fully laden for bike packing, but I wanted a decent saddlebag on the back. And uh, I'll just sort of run through some of the details. So it's it's just over eight litre to 16 litre because it's got a roll top on there, uh, which will expand out, which I can show in a moment. And just a general sort of spin around, really, if I can keep it in, in focus and in the frame. It has a pouch on each side. So there's one side pouch. And you can also see there how things roll down, being a roll top bag. And obviously this clips on the side and you've got all, all of the sort of furniture, is that what you call it? The plastic clips and things. You could expand them out and tighten them up there. So this even this side pouch will get quite large. This is the bit that connects to the, the saddle on the back of your bike. And it's, they've obviously gone for this rounded bottom because it's not really meant to sit on anything. It's just meant to hang off these. So you've got some options where you'd put those on your saddle. Those classic sort of Brooks type saddles have um, already have those hoops in the back of your, your saddle. And some, some other modern kind of touring saddles do have those hooks. But there's other ways to fit it on the bike, which I'll show on my bike how I've done that uh, later on when I connect it up and do a little film of that. But yeah, all very solid. And there's a kind of a rigidity to this piece, which obviously required given it's the bit that straps onto the, the bike. And then obviously carry handle uh, for when you've um, taken it off the bike there. They do also, as you can see on the side, do clips for a over shoulder bag as well. So you can actually um, take it off the back of the bike and then uh, have a rather nice looking bag as well for carrying around. And they say they call this one, this is the 8.3 litre to 16.6, and they call this one Mini. I think it's quite big for Mini. <laughs> I think Mini would be a little bit smaller than this, but they do do kind of very small saddle uh, seat bags as well. So yeah, and the nice Wizard Works logo on there too. And obviously on the back of the bike, it's gonna be sitting like that with this clip side uh, facing to the rear of the bicycle once you've got it on the back of your saddle. And um, I think I mentioned before the roundedness again on, of the underside, that's because it's not meant to really be resting on anything. Uh, it's be, it'll be hanging off at an angle on your, on your uh, saddle at the back. Um, that does, to me, it did present a kind of wall. If I then want to put it down on the side of a table somewhere, it's going to want to sort of fold over. But um, I guess most of the time you're going to have it connected on your bike, aren't you? So that's not exactly a big problem. So I'll unclip now these bits. And first thing to mention there is that obviously with these clips, there's um, two areas to connect to because you can unclip the top flap. There's some poppers underneath there. And this is the kind of expandable feature because as you unwrap the top and unroll it, you've got a, a copious size for that to be able to sort of cover the whole thing. Um, so yeah, benefit of if you do expand out, you've got the capacity in there and two clip-on locations to do that, one on the expanded underside as well. And actually those were, they had a very pleasing clip <laughs> in the sense that sometimes you get these and when they're new, you're like struggling to get it to clip down, but that, that went in okay. And then here's the roll top bit. And that goes in, you can see sort of folds forward and neatly on the top, and it has two little things there, there's a um, Velcro section that keeps it neatly together and a very bright interior yellow lining, which of course means that when you look inside, you can really easily see things. I've just got a, uh, a jacket in there and I've also got the two clips for fitting it on the bike. These didn't come, these didn't come with it. 
Um, it did have straps, um, but I've decided to use these straps, which I'll show when I get it all connected up. Oh, and the other thing that it does, uh, which is handy, is these foam spacers, because you can use that between your saddle and um, if I can find the bit when I put the flap over it, you can use those, they obviously fit between there and your saddle on the back as a foam space and I think that basically stops this being rubbed and stops your saddle getting rubbed at the same time too, so like convenient little foamy spaces. I mean you can use these all over your bike on anywhere you're connecting bags and they sell those separately at Wizards uh, Works as well. Right, so um, yeah, the interior will just will go in. In fact, I might be able to swap video location, and you can see the size in there. There's no interior pockets or anything, um, and obviously you've got that rounded bottom in there too. Um, so obviously you can fit a lot when that's 16 liters, and if you just <laughs> you know don't fold it down very much and then whip the um, the top over with that clip undone under the top as well from those poppers there uh, yeah you could have a lot of space a lot of storage and um, definitely plenty for me on the back of my bike for sure if I zoom in again get rid of that double view that you're getting there yep nice interior neatly there's not there's not a lot of um, bothersome material in there it's all sort of neatly put together and um, very nice and I like the fact that it's bright and light because anything you throw in there uh, like these uh, connector cables cables straps um, do the job neatly uh, if I do come out again perhaps I can show the sort of folding together action so yeah start with the Velcro together there and then you can just very quickly fold those two ends together then when you start to sort of wrap it down actually it has a natural tendency to go forward but there you go kind of neatly wrapped together depends how, how neat you want to be really but it, it does fold down very simply, you're not struggling with that to put it back together or anything. And then lid goes, um, top goes over it like that. Top flap rather than lid. Get my terminology, bag terminology correct. Keep pushing my space bar. So there it is. Let's, uh, can I get that in focus? If I move that down, I will. Hey, hey. In focus so there it is great color scheme and uh, I'll now just stick it onto the the bike so this is my Genesis day one Alfine it's got a 11 speed hub in the back came with an 8 but I managed to upgrade it off a second hand eBay new Alfine for 11 speed gears recently and this is where I connect on to there with this hobo pieces uh, saddle I think they call it uh, rest of us and uh, I bought that from a US their US website the Wizards Work uh, website sometimes also has them in stock so it's worth checking there and uh, just got it in a general orange to match up so that's the range of stiff connector loops on the back and I'm just checking and lining them up it looks like the third loop in on both sides is a good fit for me there and it lines up just about okay. So that's where I'll be putting the loops through. So as if by magic, it's all now connected up. The rack you can see underneath is from Tumbleweed. It's called the T-Rack. And that is also available from Wizardworks in the UK. And there's the strap and you can see the spacer in there as well. Now that strap came from the US too. It's called a cam strap from Austere 
manufacturing. So they have very nice sort of colour combinations and different lengths. Yeah, so I'm just testing the <laughs> bounce on the back really. I haven't taken it for a test drive yet, so it's, a, it's an extra step I'm going to need to make before I can do another final review of this, just see how it gets on bouncing up and down on the back of that there and just see whether there's any rub or any reason to to maybe keep it off the back of the rack and strap it up further. The spaces are on but I think again where those straps are on there from austere manufacturing I'm going to just have to be careful they're not clanking away against the the metal of the um, rest of us saddlebag mount from hobo pieces on there. So some more tightening up I think needed before I can uh, take it fully into action. So the Shazam Wizards Works bag in olive rust, mini sized, uh, works for me. It's certainly going to be something I enjoy having on the back of the bike to uh, fill up with day stuff that I need on some of the longer routes I'm doing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it used and, and I'll do an update in a year's time to tell you how it's getting on.